Info Diaries. My name is Malcolm Lovejoy. What was that you said? You're a real one. Yeah, I've been told. Welcome to Knit Info Diaries. <laughs> what about outside of Info Diaries? My mom might call me Abby Stewart. Okay, all right, all right. We got governments and yeah, we've yeah, got yeah. your porn star name because, yeah. you know, we got to put that out there. I don't think I mentioned that. Comes from Reverend Lovejoy from The Simpsons. So to me, that's my porn. It's, <laughs> it's, it's half hardcore. So you're a, you're a Simpson fan, a hundred percent. A billion percent. Like I'm <laughs> so so. I love The Simpsons forever. Yeah. So, but like, yeah. I mean, half my porn star is about political, uh, civil rights for sexuality and, and power and Malcolm X level seriousness. And then the other half is fun, fucking cartoon land, crazy wild action, like on Simpsons level shit. So that's who I am. How long have you been doing porn? Professionally. Uh, professionally, <laughs> uh, my first shoot was two and a half years ago. So you're kind of like a newbie in the game. I'm starting to come out of the level of newbie. I'm starting to be a little bit intermediate. Now, this is something I can tell you are 100%. Let me just grab that from you right quick. Yeah, right. I can tell you how passionate you are about porn. And, you know, it oozes out of you. What made you want to get into it? Well, I'm just a sexy motherfucker. Getting right into it. Let's get into the nitty gritty. Let's get into that nasty. Okay. Let's get into it. I want to know, you know, <laughs> what was the most intense sexual scene you've done? Like, I mean, it made you blush after, you know. <laughs> the type where you have to look yourself after in the meal and be like, God damn. <laughs> you know, the, the, the beautiful thing about my life is that there isn't a single one anymore. <laughs> really? Yeah, like I I have an amazing fucking sex life. Like when I die, oh my god, there's gonna be hundreds of women at the funeral talking about how good I was to them. And that's really one of the legacies I wanna leave. I used to think a couple years ago, like there was a a kink woman who put headphones on me and played one of the illest albums by this awesome Australian group, Hiatus Coyote and then I uh, sucked my dick while playing with my ass, while playing with my nipples, and there was a vibrator and all this shit was happening. And oh God. it was one of the most beautiful sexual experiences of my life. This year, I had an orgy with 10 people. I had sex with this amazing woman who identifies as a succubus. I had three hours of the hardest fucking I've ever done in my entire life. Like You know I gotta slow-mo that. The Hardest fucking I Hardest? Because that is, <laughs> like, that that doesn't come out of a regular person. What is regular, by the way? I don't even know. I, I'm so <laughs> far beyond a regular life. Like. Oh, I met Malcolm. We, we found him on the nude beach. If you saw my Snapchats that day, Lord. Oh, man. <laughs> we had a great time. He was very well endowed. Very well endowed, to say the least. Oh. Are you, and he's stripping down to his suit. A project you did for the weekend. Do oh, tell. God. Yes. Oh, that was fun. Yeah. I wish it was more hardcore, but it was good for what it was. Shout out to XO Crew and, and Hailey and Abel. For the grand finale of Weekend's show at the King of the Fall, when he's performing at the Molson Amphitheater, you know, he's doing that song often. Everyone knows that song. Often, often. And, <laughs> yeah, here we go. And, well, we know the song. If I do this every day, I said often. That's how many times she wrote the wave, not so often. It's a life anthem for a brother like Malcolm Lovejoy. And um, so they shot a scene at this private studio. There was five dudes and seven women, and we shot an orgy scene. Except it wasn't a full orgy. The guys had to wear pants. It was, it was disappointing. But besides that, we were all wearing no shirts and uh, the women were naked. And then all of us were just kissing and sucking and fucking and fingering and just getting real, real, real grimy with it. It wasn't like fucking fucking, but it was finger fucking and pussy eating and nipple sucking and kissing. All that jazz. All that good stuff. What can we expect from Malcolm Lovejoy? What do you got coming up? Coming up. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, coming, <laughs> coming. <laughs> It's funny to actually hear a sentence that's not a double entendre when you're in porn. It's, it's great. I, I'm just going to say it like this. I want to make pussy eating history. I'm just going to say it like that. I'm not going to ruin the surprise. But just... Is this a contest that you're sending to all men out there? 
Oh, I'm going to set some standards. That's another thing that I'm going to do. <laughs> I'm going to raise the Write level. a book? I do have to write a book. I do have to write Goddess Worshipping Bible and Porn Star 101. And I just want to teach guys how to be better communicators and more honest with the people in their life and know how to talk to women. I want to make hip hop better, have more polyamorous love songs and shit, not all this monogamy songs. Like I want, I want to make more better love songs. That just so you want a couple wives? I don't. I don't ever want to get married in my entire life. <laughs> I want to look every woman in the eye and say, hey, I get tested all the time. I'm clean, I'm passionate, and I'm attracted to you. <laughs> if you feel the same way, we can go and do something beautiful right now. If you don't feel the same way, I bid you it's you, and I hope you find another lover that treats you as honestly and good as I want to. But I'm going to just be over there making love to any woman that wants to be with a man like me.